Alright everybody, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Fae Fever, which is a point-and-click of, like, act, uh, I don't know, point-and-click something something mystery game. And as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself slash support the creator. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Supposedly, there's multiple ways to do the puzzles. I'm not Alice Taylor, is that me? Yo, an old source reached out to me. He told me about a friend who went back to our childhood home in Scotland to look for her missing brother. But now she's gone missing too. Ah, dang. I understand that you're itching for a story, but I wouldn't do any- I don't want you to do anything rash. I know how hard these past few months have been on you. Can we talk about this face to face? Well, no, because I'm already in Scotland. What? Alice, you should have talked to me first. Isn't that the guy that created Mormonism? Joseph Smith? Don't worry about me. This won't be like last time. This source has no reason to trick me. I'm not making that same mistake again. How do you know? Christ, Alice, I swear to God, you'll be the death of me. Well, nothing I can do about it now, I guess. Please just keep me posted about your progress. I will. I think I might be onto something big. I can feel it. Dun dun dun. I hope you're right. One person goes missing, after, and then a person goes after them goes missing. Now it's my time to go after them and go missing. Flawless plan. Never, no way possible this could fail. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm so good at point clicks. I wish I could afford some good whiskey, but I'll have to make do with this. It's better than nothing, at least. Pick up the... T pick up the cup that's spilling. There's a Bible in here. Organized religion always kind of gives me the creeps. So that won't be of any use to me. But you're best friends with Joseph Smith, the creator of Mormonism. What? <laughs> Aside from the some lint and a spider web in the corner, this drawer is empty. Alright, what's my book say? Missing siblings. Isabel and Alistair McClacken. McClackalockin. Door says Alistair went back to his childhood home, Glenrock. It's... Scotland? What is that? Parentheses, I guess. After death of mother, reportedly got there on the 10th. Isabel lost contact with him after a few days, got worried, bought a one-way plane ticket home, arrived in Glenrock on the 17th. The 20th from this was the last time the source wow words heard from her. No one is investigating. What happened? Write an amazing story that will make everyone forget about the whole business with the Minister of Defense and hopefully get my job back. Also, drink less. Good luck with that one. Glenrock. Uh, this seems like a bunch of... Well, might as well read it. Mayor Fiona McKenzie. Founded around 1000 AD. Hedonistic until the rise of Christianity. Some conflicting reports on their pre-Christian beliefs. Some mention the Celtic gods and some talk about them worshipping and living in harmony with strange beings in the forest. What the hell? Their church is apparently famous in these parts of Scotland. Don't ask me why. I can never stand organized religion. Driving for self-efficiency. Hmm. But our best friend is just Smith. Got it. Sick. First impressions of Glenrock. Also, am I pronouncing it wrong? I don't know. Is it Glen Gro Roche? I don't know. Very quaint. No, seriously. I like the colors. The people are obviously not found fond of outsiders. I think one you cursed at me in Glee when I got here. The cafe is closed. In what universe is this acceptable? I miss Starbucks. Actually, I miss London. All of it. It's a miracle they have even have electricity here. What's up with the surrounding forest? Someone told me it's off limits. Why? Christ, I miss London. Did I mention I miss London? Ah, the people. Alistair McClacken. 24 years old, grocery store clerk, lives in Glasgow, not on any social media, some sort of statement, or just kind of a loner. Probably not well off. Isabel McClacken, 27 years old, literary agent, lives in New York, hardworking, ambitious, Ambitious, sociable, bad relationship with family, I can relate. Well off, New York City isn't cheap. Isabel McClacken. We did this. Okay, good. We're done with it. Floor town, talk to the mayor. Sick. Not the nicest bed, but I feel like I got what I paid for. I won't be staying here long anyway. No use packing my stuff. I'll only be in town for a few days at most. Okay, there's nothing important in this room. What is on the floor? Oh, it's a note. Sick. What's this? I think I know something you might be interested in. Come see me by the cabin in the woods. Don't trust a mayor. 
Well, that's creepy, but it might be a lead that I should follow up on. I'll put this in my journal for now. Okay, we won't trust the mayor. We'll go to the... This is how we go missing, right? What's in here? Why does the sign say open, but the lights are off and no one seems to be in? Is that the sort of thing common... Is that sort of thing common in small towns like this? Um, birds. That's where the mayor lives, I bet. What's in Sean's? What's up, fam? Hello, what can I do for you? Oh, sorry, I was just looking around. Well, just give me a holler if you want some ice cream. I want some ice cream. Is there anything important in here? Ah, the ice cream machine. I'm not in the mood for ice cream. Okay, whatever. But there's one free ice cream. Wait a second. I want a free ice cream. Give me. What's this? Free ice cream? That's from the Glen Rock Herald. There's a coupon for one I free ice cream in it every day. Really? Every day? Aye. They are only valid for that day. It's mostly children who come in with them. I can imagine. So I just need to get a hold of today's issue? Sure, if you want free, to get free ice cream. Good luck finding one that still has a coupon in it, though. I see. Thanks. Okay. We need to get a newspaper so I can get ice cream. People trust each other way too much in a small town like this. In London, this bike would have been stolen in less than a day. Secondhand store. Never really understood what, who buy people who buy stuff secondhand like this. It just seems wrong to me. The woods. All right, where's the cabin in the woods? Uh, this is where I get murdered, right? Sick. We're doing it. There's the cabin in the woods. Oh, he is creepy looking, son. What are you doing with my mailbox, Lassie? Oh, I just wanted to borrow your newspaper. Well, why don't you just say so? You can't just go around digging in people's mailboxes like that. Sorry, you're right. I should have asked first. You could just take the newspaper if you wanted. I don't really read it anyway. Thanks, I appreciate it. Aha, the ice cream will be mine! Is there anything else you want in here? Hi, right, what's up, dude? Ah, oh, yes, you're here. Very good, very good. You're the one who sent me the note? Of course I did. Who else would it be? And who are you? I had a name but once, but it no longer matters. What matters is, I needed to speak with you before the town folk corrupted you and brought you in on their conspiracy. What conspiracy? What conspiracy? The conspiracy lasts. I dare not mention their name. The trees have ears. They're always listening. The devious fiends. I'm sorry, what, who are you talking about? No, not here. It's not safe. I'd invite you into my cabin, but I'm afraid it's not for, for guests at the moment. Oh, that's fine. Actually, I wanted to ask you about your note. Why did you tell me not to trust the mayor? Oh, my poor ignorant child. She's in on the conspiracy, of course, just like everyone else. That's the second time you mentioned a conspiracy. Could you please elaborate on that? Does that have anything to do with the missing siblings? Yes, yes. People going missing is the key. The town people are all allowing them to be get abducted. Abducted by whom? Do you have any proof? Because those are some pretty serious allegations. Proof? If you just open your eyes, you will see the truth as clearly as I do. I'm sorry, sir, but if you can't give me any proof, I'm afraid I can't print any of this. If you stick around long enough, I guarantee you'll get your proof. Just ask Mc McSnuggles. That was it, wasn't it? Yes. McSnuggles, your favorite teddy bear. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see, lassie. Ah, before I go... I just wanted to ask you if you know Alistair and Isabel McClacken. They recently went missing and I'm investigating their disappearances. People, people go missing here all the time. I can't keep all their names straight. I barely even know what day it is. He's just banging a little bit. People go missing all the time. How come I've never heard about anything about it until now? As I said, it's all a part of the conspiracy. Which you won't tell me about? That's right. At least not yet. Well then, thank you for your cooperation. I have other leads I need to follow up on now, right now. 
Keep your wits about you, Sassanac. What the hell? You just cursed me or something? And don't trust anyone. What the hell's a Sassanac? Okay. Find who slid the note under my door. Still explore town. Visit the mayor. I'll have to get some damn ice cream, son. Does he live in a rundown hut? It's, uh, very rustic. Alright, we're going back into the woods. I guess we'll go to the mayor's house now. Do 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 Oh, I clicked the bike on accident. I didn't mean it. I don't want to go in the candy store. Go past it. Yay, sick. The city square. What's up, fam? That sounds really lovely. It's a shame I don't have any cash on me, and I'm guessing he wouldn't appreciate being offered whiskey instead. What about ice cream? You want ice cream, son? What's a shopping district? Ah, this is a shopping district. I'm gonna bring him some ice cream. He looks like he likes ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Oh, sorry. I was just looking around. Well, just give me a hug. I want ice cream. I have stuff for ice cream. Take it. Ice cream me, son! How do I use it? What? I want to use my ice cream! I don't know how to use it. Okay, can't use it yet, apparently. Damn, I wanted the ice cream, though. Oh, he's evil as hell looking. Oh, she. Excuse me, you're the mayor of Fiona McKenzie, aren't you? Who's asking? Hi, my name's Alice Taylor. I'm... A friend of Isabel's. A friend of Isabel McLaughlin's. Isabel McLaughlin? That's a name I haven't heard in a while. What are you doing here? You came here looking for her brother. Isabel came here? Yes, two weeks ago, but no one's heard from her since then, and I'm really starting to get worried. I'm sorry, I don't- I know nothing about this. Where's their childhood home? Where can I find their childhood home? I'm not sure what you hope to find there. It's most likely empty. I just want to see if it, Isabel's there. Of course, it's number 27 on the residential street. Thank you, I'm sure you're busy. I won't take up any more of your time. Goodbye, Miss Taylor, and good luck. I hope you found Isabel. Can I ask her? Oh. Well, damn. Look at that cat. Holy shit, that is one big cat. What do people feed that thing? It's a monster. Lights are on, but no one is answering the door. Maybe they're busy. No answer here either. Do people just leave their homes with the lights on? People actually hang their clothes on between buildings like that? I only thought they did that in movies. Middle Ages. The flower. McLaughlin's house. Number 27, just as the mayor said, it's locked. It probably looks suspicious if I tried to get in. Get it open. Maybe there's another more discreet way. Like that open gate over there? Yeah. The back door. What's this? Rock? Oh, we rocked the window! Genius! Let's go. Oh, wait, he's looking at me. Hey, lady, what are you doing? Breaking into the house. Probably shouldn't enter the house with this kid is around. Okay, I gotta get that little freaking kid some ice cream. Getting the ice cream, you have to get him to get the ice cream. Dick. There you go, fucker. I got this coupon from for some free ice cream at Sean's. You can have it if you want. Really? Thanks, lady. Bye! Here you kid. Rock the window. Okay, now that's over. I only need to get it, find a way to get into the house. Rock the freaking window. Of course not. Rock the door. Okay. Can I pick that rock back up? Oh. There has to be something in here that'll tell me what happened to Isabel and Alistar. I'll, I'm gonna have to look around. Oh 
Oh god, the smell. Who left burned moldy food in here? This is one giant oven mitt. I could easily fit my head in it. Alright. The radiator's ice cold. Looks like it hasn't been turned on for quite some time. Seems like a pretty quiet street. Come to think of it, I haven't seen... Really, I haven't really seen any kids around except for Al Angus. That's a bit strange. He's a murderer, lady. Ah, TV. Seems like someone left in a hurry, not even b bothering to turn off the TV. Jeez, I haven't seen a TV this old in... I don't even know how long. Books. Books are important. This is a huge house. Fairy tales from the Scottish Highlands, the wild hunt, and other stories. The changeling of Edinburgh. Edinburgh or Edinburgh? I don't know. Protection and defense against the fair folk. What a weird collection of books. There's some old photos of the McLaughlins here. Why does he not have eyeballs? Family picture, nor November 1996. Now she doesn't have eyeballs. Isabel, Alistar, and friend Sean. What happened to Sean? I wonder. Isabel and... Is that the stuffed animal? And something, February 2002. Oh, no eyeball heaven boy. We find the stuffed giraffe, we succeed. Isabel McLaughlin. I bet you the password is that stupid dang giraffe where I can't read a stupid name. <laughs> That's aggravating. What did he tell me? McSnuggles. That's it. McSnuggles isn't a teddy, though. It's a giraffe. McSnuggles. Boom, baby. There might be something useful on this. Let's see. There appears to be some notes here. My name is Isabel McLaughlin, but you probably already know knew that if you're on my computer. I'm sorry for using the oldest cliche in the book, but if you're reading this, I might be dead or worse. I come back to... I came back home to the search for my missing brother, Alistair. No one believes will believe where my search has led me. I barely even believe it myself. I thought the man in the woods was just crazy, but I've seen them myself. I know where they've taken Alistair. Alistair. I need to go there and bring him home. The old man told me where to find the portal. If you're just... If you're intent on following my footsteps, my first advice is to just not do it. I don't want any... I don't want to drag more people into this nightmare. However, if you still won't be discouraged, my second advice is this. Look for light and find the tree. What? What are these strange symbols? Code JPEG. Code for what? Might be important. I'll jot them down in my... Journal, just in case. Charles, JPG. That's the guy I talked to in the woods. His name is Charles, then? Did he tell me that? I don't think he did. Is there anything else I can find in here? I think that's it. Alright, close that bad boy. How do we escape? What the hell? I don't understand any of this. Where did she find out? Who are they? And where did they take Alistair? So she did talk to the crazy man in the woods. Why did he lie to me? I should confront him about this. He clearly knows more about what uh, he's lighting on. Find the tree. What tree? Yeah, there's a bunch of trees. How the hell do I get out of here? Leave the laptop alone. Yeah, there we go. Alright, more mystery. We're doing pretty good, though, I feel like. The only thing that we really got cut up on was the damn ice cream, because I thought I could get the ice cream for my own nefarious needs. What's this wood tree? There's a tree. Door's locked. Might need to find another way out. What the? It changed. Are those vines growing out of the painting? That is seriously weird and creepy. I wonder what it looked like the first time. I don't remember it. That's the tree. Maybe. I don't know. And we're out this bitch. What the hell? What the hell? The door's locked. How? God dang it. Can't open it. I might need to find another way out. This sucks. Da, da, da. Is there someone else in this house? Great. B E A U T F U L. Okay, there's probably like an attic. Ah, a ladder. 
Was this ladder always here? No, I'm sure it wasn't, was it? This is really starting freaking me out. Freak me out. Christ, I need a drink. Well, it looks like we're going up the ladder. Wow, that really brings me back. I had the exact same model of nightstand when I was young. Treasure. I need to get these boxes out of the way first if I want to find the... Open the box underneath. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Tetris, baby. Okay. I'm so good at this. Ha ha ha. I think. Maybe not. Oh, that's... Oh, sick! Look at that! I did that on accident, but we did it. Hooray! McSnuggles? This must be McSnuggles. He looks exactly the same as he did in the picture. He is a giraffe. He's not a teddy bear. I can see why a little girl would like him. Alistair. August 5th, 2002. Dear Diary, me and Elzebel went out to play in the woods again. We found a really big weird tree with lots of horseshoes. Isabel didn't like it. She made it her said it made her head hurt. So we left. I don't tell I didn't tell her, but I heard the tree singing. It was really pretty. I want to hear it again. Maybe I'll bring me snuggles. I think he'd like to hear the song too. Dear Diary, I told Isabel I wanted to go back to the tree today, but she said she wouldn't go. Couldn't go. If she doesn't want to come with me tomorrow, I'll go anyway. Unless I, she tells Mother. Isabel is such a chicken. I'm younger than her, but I'm still braver than her. It must be because I'm a boy. Dear Diary, school starts soon. I hate school. I wish summer would never end. It's been a while since I last wrote because I'm having so much fun with my new friends. They live in the big singing tree. I can't tell anyone about them except for McSnuggles. They helped me put up our old swing yesterday. Then the rabbit followed me home. He sang to me when I went to bed. That's scary, dude. That is terrifying. Is there anything else I can click in here? No, that's scary as hell. Singing tree, that's odd. Maybe the old man knows about it. I know about it, it's right outside. I saw the horseshoe. paperclip okay so we're looking for a paperclip would that be in the book possibly wow okay nice Oh lord, that took me forever to find. Holy crap. Ooh, lord. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. Oh god. sucked. I wonder if I could just skip and go up this stupid horseshoe tree. I doubt it, but you never know. But the tree has a horseshoe on it. He said it was the horseshoe tree. God dang it. Screw 
you, giant cat. to the woods, talk to the old man, he tells me to go back to a horseshoe tree, I do so, and I succeed and win the game. Hopefully. Man, that paperclip thing had me for the longest time. I thought I looked through all the pages on my book, but I guess not. He's got a horseshoe too. Falls, fairies are real, real, fae are real. Ah, you're back. You lied to me, you told me you didn't know Isabel McLaughlin. But I know for a fact that she spoke to you. Oh no, I almost certainly never died. I don't know that name. Then again, names are tricky. There's power in them. No one should hand them out freely. Just look at this photo, you old fool. Do you recognize this woman? Oh yes, I do know her. Never told me her name, which is good, very good. She understood. Poor sweet lass, looking for her lost brother. Gone missing, did you know that? So they got her after all. I told her to give up the search and stay away from that accursed tree. What tree? The Hawthorne tree in the part of the woods. There lies the portal to the magical fey realm of Elfheim. What are you talking about? Don't you see? The Hawthorne train is the portal used by the fairies who are abducting the people of Glenrock. That's crazy. And yet you hesitate, Lassie. I mean, Isabel did leave some notes saying that the fairies are real and they've taken her brother, but I still don't know what to believe. It's obvious, isn't it? There's some truth to all legends. Fae, fairies, Al Sith, they're all one and the same, and they are very real. I'm not saying I believe you, but hypothetically, if they are abducting people, why? No, it's too horrible to say out loud, poor Isabel, poor Isabel's brother. According to her notes, you told Isabel how to find the tree. She wanted to go through the portal and rescue her brother. Since she's gone missing, I clearly made a mistake in telling her about it. I really need to find it. No, nothing good will come of it, I assure you, Sassanauk. Please, I'm the only one who cares about finding out the truth. I'm sorry, I will not damn another poor innocent soul. Fine, then I'm just gonna have to find it on my own. I hope you don't find it for your own sake, child. Just go home and forget all about all this, why don't you? I should update Joe, he'll want to know about this. Shit, there's no reception out here, I have to get back to town. Sick, gotta make a phone call. To our good friend, Joseph Smith. leader of an organized religion which we do not believe in. Ah, phone call. Joe, you won't believe me what I'm about to tell you, but bear with me, okay? It turns out there's a possible that possibility that fairies are bloody real. I think Alistar McLachlan, McLachlan may have been abducted by them, and Isabel went through the Hawthorne tree to save him. You're not making any sense. Have you been drinking? I know it sounds crazy, but please, you have to believe me on this. You have, haven't you? You're really worrying me. Please come home. We'll get you help. I can't turn back now. No, I've got to see this thing through. I'm so close, I can... What do you think you're doing, Miss Taylor? Oh, it's a trap. She's got her arms crossed. She's freaky when she walks. Shit, sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. I have got to go. You've certainly been busy, Miss Taylor. It's breaking into houses that... You journalists down south usually- what? How's this something that you journalists down south usually do, or is it just you? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, my nephew Al-Angus has saw you. No he didn't. He got ice cream. He's a liar. I'll make you a deal. If you leave right now, I won't call the police. Seriously, you're threatening me? If you want to get rid of me that badly, you must be hiding something. Don't you care what happened to Alistair and Isabel? Our town is not for you to make a name for yourself. You're so desperate for a comeback, you're seeing a story where there isn't one. What are you talking about? I called the London Herald. They said you been, haven't worked for eight months. 
You wrongly accused the Minister of Defense of some really nasty stuff. Your career is over. I still have some friends in high places. They will make sure my story gets published. You reek of whiskey, Miss Taylor. Did you know that? What if something were to accidentally leak to the press that you're, you're drunk? That would destroy the last few shreds of credibility, credibility you have left, wouldn't it? Screw you. But none of that will ever happen if you agree to leave here quietly. Now I'm more convinced than ever that something's going gone. And whatever it is, you're in on it. I'm going to find out what it is, and I'm going to... I'm gonna expose the fuck out of you. You can try, Miss Taylor, but there's nothing to expose. Now get out of here. I need to finish this quickly. I just need to find this damn Hawthorne tree, and I'll have my story. Thick. I guess we're not going back to town. I wonder what I could have gave the guitar person. Oh, look at this winding fucking path of bullshit. Oh, we're screwed. I'm sure there's like an order that I'm... Hang on, I don't recognize this part of the forest. How did I get here? Did I black out? I need to find out what's going on here. Oh god. Oh, we're screwed. We're gonna be here forever. This is the old man's house. But he's not here. There's a symbol outside too. Let's see what the old man has written here. Bay unions possibly unfruitful? Humans needed for reproduction? This is, that is deeply disturbing. Ancestors of the fairy mayor made a fairy deal a long time ago. Rich soil and healthy cattle in exchange for human blood mayor, brood mares. What the hell if this is really true? It's bigger than any story I've ever written before. I have to get to the Hawthorne tree. It seems to be the key to all of this. What's in? Ooh, drag this. It's, this has to be movable. It keeps lighting up. How, though? There we go. There we go. Sick. Oh, wow. Love is love. The old man seems to be a hippie. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. There's nothing behind the poster. Guess he watched the Shawshank Redemption. That would mean there is something behind the poster then if he did watch it. I think there's some mold in the corners. Please don't tell me. Please tell me he actually did, didn't actually sleep on that thing. Tales of the Fair Folk. The origins of the history of the fairy folk. Descriptions of the fair. Bay. Christ, the man was completely obsessed. Safe. Is this where that code is? What code? What code? I don't know a code. Okay, yeah, let me get out of here. We gotta find a code. Huh, somehow I didn't take the old man for a royalist. God save the queen, I guess. What code are we talking about? Do we have a code in our book? Oh, this is a code. But I don't know what the symbols equate to. Plus, there's not four of them, there's only three, so. Let's see what's upstairs. What the hell is that thing? Wait a minute, is that the old man? What happened to him? Oh god, I think I'm going to be sick. Christ, I really wish I had some whiskey with me right about now. Never noticed how cute his slippers were before. Would it be weird if I took them? Eh, not that weird. You know what, everything is going to shit right now anyways. Who am I to deny myself cute slippers? Take his hat too. Uh. Did he have a potty on his head the, all along? Rusty watering can. Hold on, is that blood in it? I wonder if whoever did this to the old man also broke this lock. What were they after? Whatever was in the safe. But where do we find the code at? Looks like he's become part of a tree. Now there's a sentence I never thought would cross my mind. How did this happen? Sure is a pretty fucked up way to go. Wait a second, I'm not ready to move on yet. Oh, I got slippers on. Sick. Let's go. These slippers have purpose, I'm sure. Where's the code at? Maybe I'm supposed to count. One, two. Th Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there's ten trees. Maybe this is it. Ten trees. That's the last part of the combo. All right, what we got in here? Three of those, I guess. Three, ten. Is there anything in here? No. Three, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five, three, ten? Is that it? Something like that. That's gotta be it. Three, five, ten. 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 Bullshit. Alright, am I missing one somewhere? One, two, three. That is three. Unless there's one hidden somewhere in here. Three. Got three for that one. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three. Ah, there's one up there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, three, five, eleven. Got that one. Yes, thank God. Correct. Woo! Lantern. Now we can find our way through the stupid woods, maybe. Let's go! Great success! Woo! Excuse me. Alright, lantern on. Can I just make it do? What is the lantern for? Is the lantern useless? It's blue sometimes. What's that mean? I guess blue means go? Is that what that means? Yay! Thank God! Woo! Da 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 da. This. This must be the tree owl star mentioned in his diary. It's so big, it's towering over the rest of the forest. That song, it sounds like it's coming from the tri- What's wrong with the lantern? Throw it at them! Oh god, we're under attack! It's flaring! Ah, uh, well, we're dead. No, it's a lantern. What did the lantern do to possibly deserve this? Good to see you. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm sorry, I was wrong. It was all a mistake. I'm not okay. Everything's going to be alright. We'll get you help. Thank you, Joe. You've always been there for me. I hope you're planning on staying. Of course, I'm staying for good. Yes. Yes. You are. What? A fever. Alright, I'm gonna play through it again, see if there is like different endings possibly. If there are different endings, I'll keep the play in so you guys can see how I did it. If there aren't different endings, I'll just probably cut it out and end the video. But jeez, it was a good game. Some of the things were confusing. But I mean that's that's the nature of point and click is having to rack your brain trying to figure out some of the things and how to do things in the correct order. I do like the art a ton, and I like the story. I wish there was, well, uh, there might be a like true ending to this where we figure out what's going on, or there might not be. 
I wonder if the mistake I made was taking the bunny slippers. Kind of a weird ending though, because you think the fae creatures would have just like spirited me away like they did everyone else. They wouldn't just like send me back. But yeah, we'll play through it again, see if we can get a different ending. If not though, thanks for watching as always. And bye! But if there is, I'm just gonna include it before. Yeah. the other way around but watch so this is the combo right here must do it in the order that you can push them in but for whatever reason instead of opening the door it's just glitching out which is really fucking stupid can i save this and then like maybe reopen well the game don't let me save please like new save enter like the fuck is going on dude like why Alright guys, looks like I got to the same ending. I did notice some glitches on my second playthrough though. Um, the lock picking part, if you like try to pick the lock before you hit the dialogue, I think this is what caused it. it. Even if I put in the correct combo, it wouldn't open the door. Um, and I noticed the glitch that I had was when I was trying to save. This, there's actually supposed to be like a save word that comes underneath once you type in the word for your save file. Um, that wasn't popping up for me, but... The game did auto save for me, which when I restarted my game, that fixed the lockpick situation. Um, another glitch I ran into was, as you know, probably it should be in the playthrough. I'm not gonna cut that part out. Um, it was black screening when I was leaving that one area. Did that a couple times, but it's all playable and it's all a little bit fixable. Uh, the lock picking one was probably the most annoying. But it was a really good game, and I think there's only one ending unless you have to do something very specific for the second ending. Um, if there is a true ending, but still a really enjoyable game. It's still kind of mysterious at the end. I wish I could have got some more closure on what was going on. Well, you pretty much know what's going on, but maybe it's just like a bleak ending. It would have been nice if we knew how she got back, like, safely, if she was maybe replaced by the fey creature, uh, anything like that would have been good. If it was like a setup by Joseph, uh, Joseph Smith, because his dialogue at the end was kind of weird. But thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!